Hi, my name is Dave Andrews, and today I'm going to show you how to use Eclipse and Java programming if you're a total beginner. Let's go to our computer. And the first thing we're going to do is download and install the Eclipse IDE by opening up our web browser and going to eclipse.org, which is E C L I P S E.org. Now on the side here, you want to click on Download Eclipse. And the version that we want is the Eclipse IDE for Java developers. It's an 85 megabyte download, which is pretty large. So you want to download that and save it. Once it's downloaded, all you have to do is right click on the zip file and click Extract All. That's going to create a folder for you that contains the Eclipse program. There's no installation. It's basically you just run this executable. So I right click on that and I go to send to and desktop to make a shortcut on my desktop. So let's open up Eclipse. It's going to ask me where I want my workspace to be. I'm just going to go with the default. The workspace is where it's going to save all of your projects and files that you're working on. Now that Eclipse is open, let's create a new project. Go to File, New, and we're going to select Java Project. Let's call this My Test Project. It's going to be in our workspace. Just click Finish. Now right click on your project here and we're going to create a new class file. Now in Java a class file encapsulates code and that is how the program runs. All code is in uh, classes which are then compiled and used by the operating system to execute commands. So let's call this our main class. Now we want to check this little checkbox here that says public static void main. That creates for us a main function which is where the program begins its operations. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just put in a simple command which is going to be system.out.println for print line. And I'm going to open up a parentheses and a quote. I'm just going to say hello world. This is the simplest Java program that could be created. I put a sem semicolon at the end of it. Basically when this program is run, the main function is going to execute and it's going to print out to the screen, hello world. Let's click the little uh, run command up here, which is, looks like a play button. That's actually compiling our program, and it's going to run it. And as you can see, down here in our console output, we have the text, Hello World. Now from here, there are many tutorials you can follow on the internet for Java programming, but you can do it all in Eclipse. I'm Dave Andrews, and I've just showed you how to use Eclipse for Java programming for total beginners.